Hi, my name is Shan Yuan Tang. I'm going to talk about our work, Touch and Fold, a foldable haptic actuator for rendering touch in mixed reality. This is in collaboration with my colleagues Pengu, Roman, Joshua, and my advisor Pedro Lopez at the University of Chicago. We engineered a foldable nail mounted haptic device for mixed reality. Here, the user follows a guide to repair their bicycle. This is a virtual interface they see. When they touch this button, our haptic device unfolds a cover that pushes against the user's finger pad. And then it tucks away, leaving the finger pad free. The guide then instructs the user to use a screwdriver to unscrew the brake pad. Because our device falls away from the finger pad, it allows the user to manipulate tools without impairing haptic sensations. Why did we build this? Mixed reality allows overlaying digital contents with the real world. However, in terms of haptic feedback, it's quite different from virtual reality. Because there are not only virtual interfaces, but also existing physical objects throughout the interaction. As we see many devices render haptic feedback for VR, such as using vibration, motor and pulley, or braking. Because they cover most of the hand, these decrease dexterity and blocks haptic sensation from the real world, and they are not suitable for MR. To minimize the interference with the real world, film-based haptic interfaces leverage electrotactile and fluidics. However, this can still impact our haptic sensation because finger pads are so sensitive. So here we ask, is there a way to keep users' finger pad free? Our approach is to touch and then fold. When a user touches a virtual bicycle tire wearing our device, our device pushes against the finger pad to render the sensation of contact. When the finger leaves the virtual tire, our device falls back onto the nail so that the user can touch and feel the texture of the real tire. Let me show you how we engineered this. The device consists of 3D printed shell, rack and pinion, our custom PCB, Bluetooth antenna, and a battery. The cover slides and rotates through the hinge and brings out a vibration actuator to the finger pad. Let me explain the mechanism in a slow motion video. First, the pinion unfolds the cover. When the cover passes the hinge, it falls inward. Finally, it is pushed flush against the finger pad. The pinion rewinds the cover when the interaction is finished. Our device renders the sense of contact for a virtual surface. The cover unfolds and applies pressure onto the finger pad. Our device renders variable forces. For example, a button feels different pressure when pressing down. The cover stops when touch is sensed by the force sensor, creating a light force. And then the motor applies more pressure. Our device can render textures as well. For rough textures, like corrugated cardboard, our device rocks the cover back and forth on the finger pad. For fine textures, like a piece of sandpaper, our device brings down a vibration motor that vibrates on the finger pad. We conducted a user study comparing with the prior work, which is fingernail vibration that also leaves finger pad free. The participants felt our foldable actuator provided more realistic haptic experiences. In another study, we found our device preserved the dexterity and haptic perception in an MR experience for repairing a bike brake. We demonstrate feeling feedback from virtual piano keys and from keys on a physical keyboard. By wearing two of our devices, when the user pinches a slider, both of the devices unfold to touch finger pads, creating a sensation of touching something in between finger and thumb. This is Touch and Fold, a system that highlights the importance of designing haptics with finger pads free to feel the real world. Lots of prior haptic devices only work in virtual reality. We're excited to explore solutions that work in the virtual and the real world as well, so we don't have to choose sides and can enjoy haptics in whichever world we are. Thank you very much.